Welcome back to Filmonomics and Slated. I'm Steph Paterno. And in this segment, I thought we would change things up a bit and go take a 50,000 foot view, a macro look at changes in the industry. And it's important to do this because our Filmonomics series, which is a regular weekly educational series, you know, allows us to get into the nitty gritty and the best practices and the latest trends, but it's often important to just step back completely and take a look at how our own philosophy and our own thinking might have changed. And there's no better example than this than our white papers that we published a few years ago. Now they were a snapshot in time looking back at all the trends that had occurred before that. And until we reread it recently, we didn't know how much things have changed since then. Now when it was written, it was written for investors, teaching investors about film as a viable asset class, key considerations when investing in film, and key benefits to investing in film. These white papers really resonated um, for a number of reasons. Now, first of all, we were delighted to find out over the years that they've been used in academia to teach classes. Uh, they're used at NYU, they're used at UCLA, they're used even in the Sundance Labs, and in many other institutions. And I think the reason they resonated was because they took a very sober, clear-minded, analytical view at film as a potential asset class and how that would work. Because to, have, to create an asset class, there needs to be rational thinking. There needs to be uh, an understood system that investors can get behind in order to generate profits. If things were truly completely random, you can never create an asset class. And our belief is you can create an asset class out of film, but it requires more structure. It, required, uh, it requires uh, more data, more analysis, more rational approach to things. Not that art shouldn't be art and shouldn't be great and unique, but to create the right incubation environment where art can really thrive, you need those structures in place. And there's no better example than that than with television. It's no coincidence television has gone through a major renaissance. It used to be that all the major talent in television wanted nothing more than to go into film, to go and do bold, new, innovative stories. But now they're, they're jumping into television. There's a lot of it bold experimentation and it's getting the audiences and studio and television executives understand how they can monetize this so it really creates an environment of success that lets the art thrive and be repeatable success. Now of course, like any S-curve of disruption, there's an initial spark in the art, then the structure and the understanding comes around and then there's an explosion of that art being widely disseminated to everyone and eventually it'll hit a peak and there needs to be new disruption. But film hasn't had this structure and understanding just yet and we believe it's going to go through this renaissance. We believe that the data and the structure and the insights are arriving now for the film world and that will allow art to truly thrive in all of its uniqueness but a repeatable success. And of course, at some point, a new understanding will need to come to bear for the next generation of filmmakers. Now we've refreshed our white papers and created a second edition, which we think you will enjoy and will really give you much better insight to the latest big picture. But we don't just want you to read them. We would like to hear from you and engage with us as to how you think data, structure, analysis, and insights can help art thrive and that in fact they do need to coexist and how that might work and if you have insights as to how the how this could all help further the artistry and the success that comes with it we want to learn from you so be sure to engage with us on Facebook or YouTube or on our blog as you usually do and we look forward to hearing from you until then don't forget to subscribe see you in the next segment